Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, November 6th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Monday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice right now a very narrow range uh, heading into the RTH open. We have 12.75 points of total range here. That's 20% of average. This market's been averaging over 63 points. Uh, per day on a 10 and 5 day basis, 65 points on a 5. So right now, super, super narrow range. You'll notice the last couple of days have been big time high range days. You had Fed Day here where it finished strong, Thursday, Friday, high range days, and this 3 day span, this 5 day span, those were some of the biggest 2, 3, 5 day splits in a very long time and of the year. And when you tend to see that much elongation, the next week tends to be a bit more quiet. So we could be a bit more range bound, especially early this week, as we're already seeing. Monday, there aren't any economic data points on the calendar there. Tuesday, we do have some Fed speak, but really it's Wednesday morning where the market will be watching Fed Chair Powell speak 8.15 a.m. Central Time Wednesday. Also, Fed Chair Powell speaks 1 p.m. Central on Thursday. So those are the big moments here of the week down the road but right now could be mostly range bound and keep an eye on the previous week's highs if we push through the previous week's highs we may begin to find some resistance here and fall back into the range and develop a range that may be somewhere 130 points wide here this week especially early on for the ES all right taking a look here at the NQ you'll see very similar price action narrow range Heading into the RTH Open, just 22% uh, of average, 62.5 points, been averaging over 275 points per day on a five-day basis. Big time elongated range last week, huge move up. Again, we may be more range-bound ahead. For example, here's the big squeeze, here's your range-bound week. Here's your big squeeze, there's your range-bound week. We could see a similar uh, development early this week at least as we head into Wednesday and Thursday's Fed Chair Pal. All right, taking a look uh, right now at crude oil. This one's up right now, 1.5%, uh, a range of 47% of average right now. Inside range here, you'll notice as this market is traded sideways, uh, now going on five days. We can make uh, a five day ADR reading down here. And you'll see 59% of ADR, so 59% of average range, 3.5 points of range total, and it usually gets about 5 plus points of range on average. Now, if this is an expansion opportunity, we may see something high as high as 7 points of range on a 5-day range basis once we see a breakout. Given the downtrend here, if we see any pullback rejection, it could be say reject 84s and drop six points and that puts you right to 78 uh, so six to seven points of range could be ahead pretty easily and if we start the week on strength it could be an inverted check mark week down now um, if we can see full on expansion through 8352 then that opens up 8827 Last week on Friday, we mentioned A352 was the key level to watch. It was the prime spot for bears, and then that was the uh, spot of rejection before price rotated back to new lows. So again, if we come into that zone again, it could be a very similar fate here as bears continue to control the short and medium term trend here in crude oil. But keep an eye on that level as it does provide some really good pivot highs that if we do see expansion, a transition could happen, which opens up 88.27 above. All right, taking a look here at gold futures. Gold right now down just a hair here, down about four tenths of one percent. Not quite an inside day, but a very narrow range day in the lower half of the previous session's range. And we have compression that has developed over the last two to three weeks. Really, it's 1990 is kind of the midpoint between the 2020 and the 1960 level, 1990, and that's where we've been stuck really over the last three weeks. We've, we've really traded right to that level, popped up once, back to it, and traded at the level. So again, we could see another move, either down to 1960 and back to 90, or up to 20 and back to 90. So at some point, expect a move to an extreme and perhaps a fade back, but 
range-bound action right now, and that's likely to remain the case. Taking a look here at the YM. YM right now, about flat, 59 points of range. <laughs> I mean, the YM has less range right now than the NQ at the moment. NQ 62.5, YM at 59 points of range. Barely a blip here on the daily bar chart. It's been averaging about 420 points per day. So you can see, again, it's about as narrow as it gets heading into an RTH open. 13, 1-3, 13% of average range right now. Uh, again, this one has hit the snooze button as we head into the RTH open. Not likely to remain that narrow throughout the day, but when it is that narrow, you can go down and up and down and up throughout the day in an expanding fashion until you find the impulse move that sets the high and low for the day. That's going to be the case for the ES, the NQ, RTY, and YM uh, this morning. Now, again, because of the elongated week we had last week, there could be a, a period of range-bound action to begin this week. So expect that. That starts with finding an early high and then rotating to a low and then bouncing back to create that range. So we'll see where that develops here early this week. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the new week of trading. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.